Gaetan, as the, as the season has gone on, and I guess specifically relating to those two games against the Canadians, uh, how can you describe the, uh, the ramp up in the physical play, the intensity, or, or maybe even the nastiness that's going on on the ice? Uh, you mean on those two games? Yeah, and just maybe if in general it's increased throughout the season. I think it's a, it's a good preparation for us uh, if the game is, go, is going to get uh, physical in the playoffs. So if you can have those games uh, before, uh, it's helping uh, you to to get physical ready too. And uh, yeah, then you, when you get into the playoffs, you can respond. So as maybe you expect more of those games down the stretch, um, you know, it, it, it seemed everybody got engaged with it the last few games, but do, do you have to sort of put yourself more in a mentality that uh, there are going to be things to respond to or maybe things you have to initiate? Sure. Um, like I say, like, I guess um, that all the game till the end is going to be hard. Every team want to play hard, uh, get a like a playoff mindset, playoff um physically and um, that's where we want to go to and uh, I think that's like I say good preparation for us and the, it's good if you have those games uh, before. Daniel Nudra Bowman, The Athletic. Uh, Gaetan, you've, you've been asked to do a lot of different things this year, you know, penalty killing, uh, move up in the lineup when guys have been hurt. Uh, you know, how would you describe your year and, and kind of the evolution in your game throughout the course of the season? Good question. Uh, I, I'm still not uh, happy with my offensive game. Um, I think defensively is pretty good. Uh, I like my work on the PK, um, but this step I want to do this year. Uh, right now, I'm not happy with it. Like, like I said, the offensively, I know I can do way better than that. What What do you think then is kind of I'm not holding you back, but what, what what do you need to improve on, or what uh, what would you like to do to see yourself take the next step? I have to find solution to to have more shot on net for sure. Um, be better in the corner in the in the ozone, um, and then if if I go in the slot, uh, if I have the puck, just put it in and just yeah. Right now I, it's not working, but I'm I'm working in practice, working hard, try to to score and. And I know this day is going to come and it's going to feel good. And the, the, your work on the penalty kill, you said you're, you're happy with that. Uh, you're getting a regular, you know, ice time there. Um, you know, it's a, kind of a step from, from last year. What, what's the, uh, the process like for you getting those minutes and, and trying to help the team in that regard? Oh, it's huge. If you can uh, have a, a role in the, like for me, if I have a role in the PK, it's huge for me. It's giving me more, more ice time uh, and it, keep you really in the game. Uh, so uh, I like to be there. Uh, and I, like I say, I think I, I did a good job uh, on PK, uh, even uh, if sometimes mistake uh, happen. Thank you. Rob Tuchkowski, Post Media. Hey, Gaetan. Uh, there's, there's a lot of line shuffling going on this season, uh, particularly in, in you know in the bottom six. People are moving around all over the place. As, as a player, how important is it or how valuable is it to just have two guys that you're playing with all the time. Sure, it's helping you if you get uh, like the same guys all the time. But I mean, we we are a team and we just want to play good, try to help the, the top six and um, whatever uh, whatever the guys is uh, next to you, you, you want to just do a good job and try to have success. Is it, a, is it more of a challenge adjusting to new players uh, every game, every second game? I mean, at the end of, of the day, um, I guess I play with almost every guy in the bottom six. So I know those guys, so it's not a problem.